fortunate time as your president, I am filled with a profound sense of gratitude, pride, and appreciation as I welcome each and every one of you. Your commitment and passion for the legal profession are truly commendable, and I am heartened by the diversity of expertise, experience, and perspectives defending those who have alleged to commit treason, to have committed treason, both sides are united on one thing, on constitution change of government is a threat to democracy. I eagerly anticipate the insightful discussions and exchange of ideas that will undoubtedly enrich our collective understanding and strengthen our resolve to uphold the principles and values of democracy. Political optimism and confidence in the future of our association. The incoming leadership with their vision, passion and dedication will undoubtedly build upon the legacy of our achievements and chart a course towards new horizons of progress and prosperity for the legal profession in Sierra Leone. Under my leadership, with continuous education at the forefront, I recognize that to serve our society effectively, we must continually enhance and provide free legal services to juveniles and supported the home with skills training materials, capacity building, and social counseling. Distinguished guests and colleagues, there are so much I can say on the remarkable progress we have made under my leadership. But I'm also reminded that my job here is to just welcome you all with a smile. Definitively, while the choice of Kenema to host this AGM was unsuccessfully litigated, I hope you will all enjoy the topography and great hospitality of Kenema. To those who are coming for the first time, this is the land of darkness. Make use of it. In closing, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for traveling far and wide with this AGM. I'm always confident that the bond that unites us as members of this esteemed association is forged amber of justice, unity of purpose, and commitment to upholding the rule of law. With a grateful heart, I say welcome and bienvenue. I wish everyone a protective, a productive deliberation at this opening ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President, for that exhaustive and um, welcome statement. I will now call on Mr. Michael Charles, the PRO of the Sierra Leone Bar Association, for the introduction of the chairperson of this program. Mr. Michael Charles.
Uh, Beloved Attorney General and Minister of Justice, distinguished personalities of the High Court, very senior colleagues, colleagues of the bar, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My task is to introduce the beginning with his early education at Cathedral Primary School in Freetown, followed by high school education at the Albert, Albert Academy. He pursued higher education at Fulbright College, where he earned his LFP with honors in 1998 and continued his legal education at the Civil Law School, obtaining his period in 1999. His quest for knowledge led him to the International Maritime Law Institute in Malta, where he earned a master's degree in international law, international marine law in 2003. And further to IPAM, he had completed another master's degree in business administration in 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, our chairman's professional career began with a privilege at Vanda Thomas and Co., followed by significant roles in the civil aviation authority and lectures at both IPAM with no nonsense approach and brilliance. He has built a significant impact as an academic. His published work includes the book titled The Concept of Subrogation. A marine insurance law. Ladies and gentlemen, within the Sierra Leone Association, our chairperson has held 